did you guys know that snow is actually warm? That's right. If you watched last episode, you would understand the meaning of that. She's been given a name. She's not really overcome her fear of dogs, but just more... <laughs> Just trauma, just more, just the shitty experiences and us reaffirming her that you have a place to belong. You can just chill out. Let's begin today's reaction. Look at the amount of frames moving, man. Maids better animated than Tower of God and Blue Lock. Actually, the amount of like passion put into the adaptation is crazy. So many things are moving in this. Oh, ears pierced. She's gonna fucking get like a needle. Today's title. Mentally ill maid penetrates me? Question, question mark. And me just going. Something like that. Yeah, she got a lot of experience penetrating. Cutting shit up. Careful! Ah! <laughs> she has an earring of her own! <laughs> Why can't she do it? No, no, no! This is not punishment! You don't want to open a hole in me? Oh. Big brother. We have a sister? Plot twist. Is it gonna be a lolly? Who are you? Alright, we got a lolly in the show. She's a very outgoing lolly, it seems like. Uh, this is your new maid, little sis. Yeah. I never understood the whole fang that is flesh colored. You know? Like, lollies, they all have fangs. Not all, but a lot of them do. But sometimes, it's like they actually have fang, and sometimes, it's like a fang-shaped lip fucking pointy sticking out. I, I don't get this. You are Miss Yuki. Wow, she's even petting the dog. Why did the show tell us that a little sister ever fucking existed? You just showed up out of nowhere. And mom and dad are just gone, right? Dad's like working overseas? Okay. Dad is just the perfect anime dad, not there. Bro, con, I can't tell. Oh. Mom and dad divorced and they living separately? Enough of this. She's done this like four times to us. I'm gonna do it to her. Just fucking... <laughs> Cinema! Look at that cup animation. That was a frame though. Cool. Cool. Yuki. Snow. Oh. Sorry, we named her. How do you feel about that? Yeah, he gave it to her. Think about that. We named her. You want to tell her that? Wait, wait. I feel like a super top secret has been leaked. Anyways, it should be fine. Assassin. Uh, assassin, yeah. You want to see your knife skills? Cool. Okay, okay. I thought they were like trying to tell us how old she is. I thought this is eighth grade, like notebook or something. No, no, eighth edition. <laughs> but she just got her name. Now she got to figure out a signature. Is it going to be beautiful or amateur? I feel like in order to have a contrasting moment for humor, her writing is going to be like caveman unga boonga, but I could be wrong. What does it look like? Yuki. I don't write Japanese. But even I can tell there's something fucked up here, right? This looks really bad letters, right? 
I can't tell. <laughs> it's terrible, right? <laughs> you just need to practice a bit. Oh, languages. Mm -hmm. This international. Killing people all across the world. <laughs> what? Do idols like notoriously are are they known for like having shitty autographs? Like a really cute idol. Wow, wow, wow. But that's just like unga boonga writing? I don't know. All right. Idols give out shitty autographs sometimes. Assassination. They're getting along well though, that's great. Yeah, yeah, show me them. The knife skills. Killer. Yeah, the theme is right. Does Yuki even want to do those things now? Oh shit, here we go. Roger Dodge. Yeah, show the knife techniques. Okay, chill the fuck out. You I know she's not gonna mess up, but I've seen so many just like uh, comedy clips where people just like shoot like or they, they they like try to hit like kick it they try to hit it on the head they try to like shoot something and it just ends up just like knocking the guy out instead good luck knife knife incoming okay how big was that jump there bro she's like flying the backflip she's like 10 foot up in the air! So cool. Where did the knife come from, actually? I want to see this. From her titty. Is she pulling it out of her titty? Opie knives. Pressed pocket. Opai pocket. 16 knives? The heavy ass jacket. Only five knives now. Legs. No, oh, come on, show me! They cut out the fan service. Now, what's gonna happen when the girl writes this down with such detail and goes to school and tells? Are the school going to call the cops and be like, yo, I think there's something fucked up in her household. Or maybe they're going to think, huh, it's just the funny whims of a child. This is all bullshit. <laughs> the bell is pretty important for her. Jingle, jingle. Okay, that's fucking sick. Yeah, I was thinking the jingle, jingle, it's, it's, isn't it going to like call you out if you're trying to be silent? But it's like, nah, by the time you've already heard the bell, your head's on the ground. <laughs> That's fucking sick. Something yaki from last episode. Okonomayaki? I don't know. Yeah, the cabbages. Not anymore. <laughs> Here are some cabbages for you for lunch. There's a next step after that, right? Is she just gonna be fed cabbage? She really fed her just cabbage. Bro, fuck it, we're going to McDonald's. Oh, a festival. Firework summer festival. Yuka time coming. What happens at the festivals? Uh, Firework happens to drown out the... Uh, the audio of the confession. A girl may trip and injure herself and, you know, create a scenario for the guy to carry her on the way back home, right? These are the cliche moments I love. And then the scam. The fucking picking up the fish scam because the nets are too fucking brittle. Oh, shit. That stall will be there? It's like crack for her. She's so addicted. Let's go. We gotta get an alpha for her. Can't believe we're already getting a summer festival episode. Here we go. No, Yukata! 
Oh, I wanted to see me in a different outfit. Shooting gallery, throwing knives. <laughs> Show her how it's done. <laughs> did you hear that? Did, did you hear the jingle of the bell? You're already dead. Oh my, wamo shindeiru. Nani? She's also ass. Well, she doesn't use a gun to assassinate. I think she is more delicate with the knives, right? Use the throwing knives. I'm sure she could do it. Yeah, she's not a sniper. The scam fish. She's good at this. Very good at this. <laughs> this trick is the net is an extension of your arm. Say some bullshit samurai technique like a tip. Oh. Hide your presence. Big sis, huh? Oh, the relationship is so wholesome. There's the sauce. Katsuda, stall. Her weakness, man. She turns into a toddler after eating it. Oh, yeah. He loves this shit. Oh, on the house. This is her best day ever. Uh oh. Is she gonna get lost or are we gonna have a 1v1 uh, intimate moment? Intimate moment incoming? Hmm. It's pretty fun, huh? No. <laughs> What's a Deva festival for you? What kind of festival is it? Some sort of like sacrifice? Some sort of like many bodies like burning, dying? She's always in that Chinese inspired like Chipao dress, man. And the name's Sui for Yuki for the snow, right? So, and she used to have like a butterfly pin. Does she still have that butterfly pin on her head? I don't think so. She just goes undercover, I guess. As soon as the fireworks pop, you kill. It's not broad daylight, but damn, just in the middle of the street. No one knows what's happening. The fireworks are going off. Target annihilated. Mission complete. Jingle. Did he hear that? Oh god, run away! She's gonna stab you! Boom! Yeah, she probably never looked at the fireworks, right? Because she was too busy with the assassination. I'm kind of sad the dog isn't with us. Mochi should be enjoying this with us. That's a lot of blush. I wonder what that means. I wonder what that means. He blushed, then he pops the fucking lid, and goosh comes out. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. What are you trying to tell us? Lolly grippers. Eight sauces. Dude, she could drink a liter of that. Uh oh. May do something cool. Nah, nah, nah. Call the ambulance, but not for me. Oh, I wanted her to like fuck him up. I wanted her to just like fuck him. I don't know. That that's that's probably crazy, right? To do a lariat on a guy that's coming at you with a motorcycle. But I just assume that she has like a you know superhuman body. Oh shit! What about the bag? What about the bag? Did we get the bag? We saved her! Somebody stop! He stole my bag! Bye. Okay. And she living her fantasies. Rip the pedestrian bag though. Oh no, the sauces! Is that your wish, my master? <laughs> you about to fucking go end him? Oh! Murder mode. Alright, she's chasing. Okay, oh my god, the parkour. There she goes. Looks like we'll get the bag after all. Damn. 
Kiki running like Naruto. Genius sister. Oh, sound check's going crazy. Annihilate! It's already over. Any last words? <laughs> yeah, wait! Hold up! I mean, you. I mean, you said you divine judgment. Okay, she's reformed! I thought she was really gonna go for the kill. Nice. Yeah, we should return the bag. Where's that bag? There's the bag on the fucking side. No, there, there's the bag, girl. All right, they got that shit sorted out. I thought it'd be so funny if we just ignored the pedestrian's bag again. It's literally on the right here, but nah, they, 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 they got, they got the bag. A cops here too. All right, we got more sauce sundae. A to B, B to A, same shit. Like, is this a good idea, though, to document everything she did and share it publicly? Hopefully, they'll just think that this is just the stupid whims of a child and it's not serious, but like, ah, uh, I wonder. She's been probably to assassination school. Nah, she missed out on that childhood. Oh, that's so sad. She missed out on all those important things. Wait, what? Mom. Okay, that's mom. I thought it was... Okay, so she lives with mom. Mom and dad most likely divorced. And we live at home where it's dad's place, but dad's always overseas. He's always alone. Perfect environment for <laughs> rom-com. Also, her phone case is very cute. This is pretty normal. Looks like a UFO on the top there. How old are you? I don't know. Like, uh, it'd be cool. It'd be funny if she could actually enroll to high school, but I don't think she's high schooler, man. Maybe she can go to college. What is she super young? Who knows? Yeah, maybe she's actually super young, man. Summer's over. September. Transfer student. <laughs> what is the odds of a transfer student announcement happening? And it's Yuki right now. Ooh, is this Giga Chad? Yeah, we got him. Yeah, you know. <laughs> the whole town's talking about her, huh? We live with her. Library? They think she's a cosplayer, huh? Or an exchange student. Transfer student. It's just the most obvious thing that could have happened, and it's actually happening. Hey, Yuki Yokoya. She got the bell right there. <laughs> His eyeballs actually left. How old are you? I guess she's high schooler. Unless she lied just to go to school. And that's another episode of Made. And <laughs> the, the, the most obvious thing that would happen actually fucking happened. She's transferring in. I thought that maybe she would show up as like... Maybe like a librarian or like a substitute teacher. I don't know, but like she's a literally a transfer student that's probably gonna sit right by us. I mean, it's sad that she missed out on all these like core memories, all these different things that you should be doing at different age brackets, right? These are important memories to cherish, but she was robbed of all that because you're just a brutal assassin. At least she experienced, you know, Summer Festival and now she'll experience you know what japanese high school is like and everyone's probably gonna thirst over her everyone's probably gonna be like wait aren't you that maid girl who knows how that's gonna work out but only one way to find out also the little sister she's a very nice addition to the cast having a little sister for the maid is also very nice if you're still here though and if you enjoyed this reaction please like the video check out the other playlist for even more content and until next time
Take care.